What's up, Virgo? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to do your weekly messages starting September 30th, 2024. Virgo, I hope all is well. Uh, I really do hope that you uh, guys have enjoyed your birthday, right? So um, we're in Libra season right now, and I'm using this week um, tarot deck that I forgot the name of, so I'm calling it the Fairy Tarot. Yeah, Fairy Tale Tarot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, so uh, I'm showing my face here coming out from underneath that rock every now and then I'll do that to engage you guys and it's just good to do that you know every now and then. anyway we're going to cleanse the energy from doing uh, Leo's uh, spread and then we're going to start with the messages for Virgo not reading any uh, reversals here Virgo so the energies for Virgo what's coming up for Virgo this week energies for Virgo Excuse me. All right, so we're going to move the camera down here before we begin your messages. I'm just going to do a cut and then we're going to begin. Okay, so energy is here for Virgo this week. All right, Virgo, we're going to start off with the very first card in energy for you. And we're going to start off with the uh, Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is actually a pretty good card here. It's a card that represents options. Also, to um, an indicator of having to um, remind you to pay attention to your intuition. The Seven of Cups is all about that intuition. And then, you know, um, the gut feelings, the voices that you hear, you always have to go with those um, instincts because those are your own personal energies trying to grab your attention. If there are options that are being presented to you this week, that's why it's important for you to pay attention to. <laughs> you know, you want to make sure that there's, you know, the selection that you, um, you know, opt for is going to be something that's best going to resonate for you. Okay. Also, the Seven of Cups comes through in terms of. A greater dedication. This is just how I read it. A greater dedication, devotion uh, being uh, outwardly poured from you to others this week. Or it could be, you know, the energy coming towards you. Family members, significant others could be platonic friends. And I'm throwing co-workers as well. Okay. A lot of love and, you know, devotion with the Seven of Cups. On top of that Seven of Cups, now we have the... Ooh, what is that? The Three of Pentacles. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles is here. This is um, any types of recognition that may come your way through your employer, through a means of a small pay raise. Could be that uh, I usually regard this as a completion of some sort of project, whether it's work related or not. Uh, the energies are going up the 30th um, at Monday. So by Wednesday, there could be a, uh, some sort of uh, recognition coming your way through the means of a congratulations. Thank you. Job well done. Could be a small pay raise. Possibility of being introduced to somebody new. And I always get there could be uh, someone dealing with uh, workplace attraction or, you know, having an affair. And guess what? It lands on the Seven of Cups. So that's relationships, right? Other people. Then we have... Um, Next up is the King of Wands. Here you're focused on something or someone. This is strong energy that you're attracting towards or it's coming towards you. The uh, King um, normally goes after whatever he or she is focused on, right? This is a great deal of intensity, passion, and definitely he could be expressing himself in a sexual manner as well. King of Wands. For any uh, Virgo out there that's creative, the king will come in and give you a burst of energy to help you along the way when it comes to your creative endeavors. Up next now we have the major arcana, the fool. Take that leap of faith, Virgo, whatever it is that you want to step into. It could be the unknown. Well, if that's the case, then you have to drop the fears and the hesitation and just go ahead and do it, knowing that you will be supported. And then, you know, usually it's the universe that supports you. Uh, but you have to, you know, leave the fear behind you, seeking some sort of excitement and adventure as well. For those who uh, don't have anything lined up or planned to do, the aspect of the fool always comes through that there is some new beginning that's going to open up for you in some area of your life this week. Okay, so that is that. And on top of the fool, major arcana, we have the ace of pentacles. So your own energy shows up. This is the one of my um, 
It's not one of my financial independent cards, but let's start with the the fact that it could be a job offer, a contract offer. It could be um, it's the infinite amount of money or the potential of earning money, unlimited. Okay, so this could be startup investments, startup businesses, and you could see or view the um, Ace of Pentacles as. Um, your financial situation stabilizing for the very first time it lands on the full so if you were fearful about opening up a business this is a good indicator just to go ahead and do it and leave the fear behind you could be a home-based business uh, any type of business and maybe you were fearful you know about whether or not you were going to be successful or not just go ahead and do it all right, so that's the Ace of Pentacles here. Up next now, we have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords, I always read, uh, first and foremost, is news, information that could be coming in from a, from the world stage, global stage. It could be community or local community. I'm sorry. First actions, first moves. But I also read that the uh, Page of Swords could be uh, someone newly taking up an interest in liking you romantically, but to checking you out through possibly social media. If we get the, um, well, no, we already have it. The Seven of Cups is here, so this person may come forward. This could be a friend, co-worker, or a neighbor coming forward to let you know that they have struck up some sort of uh, liking or interest towards you. Wow. May or may not be a uh, air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but it could be. Up next now, we have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is always read about being um, particularly mindful of gossiping this week of Virgo. Um, she's a communicator. So what she's doing is sitting in that chair, holding up the swords because she either has communicated and cleared up some sort of uh, situation concerning, um, you know, doubts, fears centered around us. You know, a person could be a situation or an event. A great deal of determination. So there's something major that you're about to do this week. Or take action against or for. That's the Queen of Swords. On top of the Queen of Swords, now we have the uh, Six of Pentacles. This is the card of gift giving and charity. You could be receiving a gift. You could be given a gift. Again, the Six uh, Pentacles could represent a pay raise coming in for some someone. And I also read it, um, my own interpretation, that there could be some sort of apology coming forth towards you, Virgo, from some slight handed to you by someone else that you know okay so it's a lot of energy that comes out of that six of pentacles next up is the ten of pentacles okay so again you got the ace of pentacles the six of pentacles now you have the ten of pentacles this is one of my big money cards this is the card of inheritance this is the card of um abundance equal number of pentacles so this is you know in the form of could be in the form of any promotions any um big bonuses or pay raises that may come through all right equal number of pentacles the objectivity here is uh, what you give is what you get back in return single virgos taking care of themselves independently coupled uh, virgos taking care of each other's needs if it is the absence of money then you're feeling abundant about something else that's going on in your life if you are the risk-taking Virgo that likes to do uh, casino runs, lottery, scratch-offs, whatever, play responsibly. This is big money coming in here, okay? And also that money could be coming in for Virgo um, through, you know, known or unknown sources this week. So it's money, money, money. Next up is the Seven of Wands. This is a card that I uh, always refer to as um, standing your ground. Uh, if you move forward, you already got the Queen of Swords here in terms of an action or a major decision that you're about to do. Follow through. Stand your ground. If you don't, then you'll end up regretting. That would represent the Seven of Wands. If you do stand your ground, then you won't have any issues. So always move forward. Um with whatever actions or decisions you're about to do this week. The Seven of Wands landing, however, on that uh, Ten of Pentacles, even though it's positive, this could also be that um, 
for some Virgos that I'm reading for picking up could be that you're either having some sort of challenge or difficulty with a coworker or coworkers. All right. Stand your ground. Then we have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is like the King of Wands. You're attracting some sort of energy. He usually comes in here, though, however, to assist, you know, you and whatever help that you need assistance with. This could be a family member, friend, romantic partner. Uh, yes, this would um, be declared as intermediate passions. Things building or, you know, intensifying. And like the king, he could express himself in a good, you know, in a sexual manner, right? The Knight of Wands also could be indicative of how fast a uh, new connection, whether it's business connections, um, platonic friendships or romantic partnerships could take shape or form this week quickly, very quickly. Then we have the major arcana, the sun. There's nothing going to upset Virgo this week because the sun is the most positive card in the tarot deck. Now you could be the Virgo that works in the health, you know, industry because this is my health card. Some of you may be just going through, uh, you know, uh, routine medical exams or checkups. This week, all will be well. Uh, this is x-rays of all kinds fall underneath the sun. Yes, answer to all questions that you pose for yourself. Feeling very, very successful. Um, living in Florida, California, for those Virgos who may live in Florida, California, or you may be thinking about traveling to those two destinations or somewhere else that's warm, sunny, and welcoming. Feeling childlike, feeling happy, feeling vibrant, invigorated. Okay, this card also comes through here that um, as a reminder, there could be some form of blessings coming your way this week. It's the major arcana of the sun. Oh, anybody who, you know, may, let me just throw this in here. I always have to throw in, you know, um, people who may be uh, receiving chemotherapy or radiation for cancer treatment. You're going to be fine, too. Okay, you're going to be fine too. The sun always comes in to brighten, never comes in to dimmer. Then we have the major arcana, the death card. Okay, so the death card is a major life transformation. First and foremost, it never ever means physical death. It just simply means that there's something that's coming to an end. It's going to land on top of the sun. Now, I never really got a combination in terms of a message with the uh, death card in the sun, but there could be. That's why I encourage you guys to interpret these messages on your own to see how, you know, they may relate to the energy of what you may be going through. So the death card here is the ending of something coming to an end or closing up for you. But if you are able to identify whatever it is that needs to come to an end or that is closing up for you, then something definitely new is going to take its place. So I have to think strongly about that. The death card and the sun together. Okay, maybe that'll be in another video. But I don't I don't feel that it's anything, it would be anything negative in terms of a message. All right. So the last card I have for you in this spread, Virgo, is the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is worry, concerns, fears, doubts uncertainties that may be centered around a situation, person, or event. I oftentimes read the Eight of Swords um, as a breaking communication with family members, friends, uh, romantic partners. Also, too, feeling like there's energy of feel, you know being pulled in several different uh, directions in terms of making the decision. This uh, You have to be careful here that the uh, trick side to this Eight of Swords is that, of course, if you're dealing with it or if it's expressed you know, this week for you and you're dealing with that, of course, deal with it. You want to bring down those conflicts as much as you possibly can. Not to do anything and let it linger just leads into the Nine of Swords, which is uh, could be, you know, much worse. The trick side to the Eight of Swords is that you cannot infiltrate your mind with unnecessary um, things, especially when it relates to future events, okay? Because that's where we... Um, really do ourselves a disservice, do ourselves, um, you know, mental harm. Uh, thinking about something uh, could be involving a situation and a person, and it never turns out the way that you compile it in your mind, okay, if it does come to pass. Um, 
And I'm going to give you an analogy here just, you know, to let you know what I'm talking about. Say if you were, and this is just, it might be extreme for some of you, but say if you're on your job and then all of a sudden, um, say maybe you, you, you did something on your job that, you know, you sort of like messed up um, some sort of work detail or a project or assignment that you may have had, but you answer to other people. And so you, you know, you experience that, uh, you know, that you messed up, but how is the damage going to affect you or impact you from your superiors? That's what I'm saying. So the outcome, even though you may have messed up or made a mistake when it comes to your work, you already, you could be thinking that, oh, I'm going to be fired. Oh, I'm going to be, um, you know, suspended. That's the energy that I'm talking about that you have to be careful with. That could be uh, tricky because when it, if you do experience something like that, and this is what you're already thinking about, the worst, it never, you, you know, it never really comes out that way in terms of what you compiled in your mind. So you have to be careful not to entertain that type of energy. All right. So that is what I have for you this week, uh, Virgo. It really, it's not too bad. It's just me interpreting these messages here for you. Uh, please take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. However, um, you have a moment. Take the time to um, actually I owe you another card here. Um, I'm going to throw another card on the Queen of Pentacles because this this um, Six of Pentacles should have ended up on the Queen of Pentacles. I just happened to catch that. So I didn't touch the deck, but I am going to throw another card. And the card that I have here is the Five of Wands. Okay, so the Five of Wands. Now, again, the Seven of Wands is on the Ten of Pentacles. The Five of Wands is now on the Queen. So having to have some sort of conflicting energies possibly with coworkers, uh, don't get into any fights or petty arguments with any of your co-workers is what's going on with them Virgo not as opposed to what's going on with you they're just trying to draw you in if it's work related matters here it's just usually the the normal you know the work stuff people just find shit to complain about may accuse you and uh, all that but this is um, energy that may come in quickly may be related to fights and petty arguments. Don't engage, don't add fuel to the fire. If you don't, you should be okay. Just ignore it, it'll go away. Others may just find themselves to be a little bit restless in their working environment, okay? And that too shall pass. All right, so this is what I have for you, Virgo. Once again, please like the video, share the video, fill those comments in, subscribe to my channel. You guys have a very safe, great week ahead. Always come back to get more of these messages from me. And I will talk to you soon. Ciao.